What's up Guardians? Sly here and welcome back to another Destiny a Weekly Reset Guide. So thanks for coming back and checking out the latest in the world of Destiny. So good news guys, I rebuilt my PC from top to bottom. New power supply, new motherboard, new SSD hard drive, new cables, new PC cooler, and of course a beautiful new case. Now this is a pretty amateur pick, but it does get the point across. So hopefully all of those super annoying audio ticks and video glitches will be a thing of the past. And as you can probably tell, it sounds better already. Now I have a new microphone on the way as well, so hopefully that will be in here very, very soon. So if y'all notice any kind of audio or video glitch in this whole video, be sure to comment down below and I'll see if there's anything left to do about it. But I'm pretty sure a new motherboard with some extra shielding was all that was needed. No, it's crazy, you guys. It's absolutely nuts what a new motherboard, a decent motherboard, can do for you. I've noticed way better low times as well. That is a pretty awesome bonus. Anyways, we got a ton of stuff to check out, so let's dive into it, shall we? It's Tuesday, June 6th, and this is your Destiny Age of Triumph Weekly Reset Guide. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, hope your week is starting off as awesome as possible. And as always, we're starting up here in orbit and checking out all of the goodness that is our weekly playlists. And, of course, we're starting up here with the Crucible first, so let's dive in and take a peek. So, our weekly this week is Combined Arms, which is <laughs> something we're not going to see anymore in Destiny 2. I'm pretty sure with new 4v4 going on, I'm pretty sure these large maps with maybe not the vehicles... But large maps in general, I think, are going to be a thing of the past. So if you're a fan of combined arms, vehicles, large maps, stuff like that, you should get your dose in while you can. As for our rotating playlist down here at the bottom, we have Control, Supremacy. Of course, we have uh, Elimination here in the middle, waiting until Friday to switch over to Trials. Then we have Salvage, and our last one here is Rumble. All right, so next, let's take a look at this week's Nightfall, and hopefully it's something decent. So, starting off with the modifiers, we're checking out Epic, Heavily Shielded, Highly Aggressive Enemies. Of course, they appear in great numbers. Following that is Arc Burn, Arc Damage from any source, Greatly Increased, then Ironclad, More Enemies Have Shields. Followed by Catapult, Grenade Recharge, Grenade, <laughs> Grenade Recharge Rate is Greatly Increased, and then my favorite, Exposure. Guardian Shields are increased, but do not replenish. So, Arc Burn with Ironclad and Exposure. That is a good nightfall. So let's jump in and see who we're taking out this week. The House of Devils marked you as public enemy number one after you trashed their prime servitor, but your old friend Sepix Prime is back. And apparently better than ever, thanks to the Devil Splicers and Siva. Zavala is not too happy about the idea of the Splicers playing Godmaker. And I can't blame him. So what you're saying is it's time we return to the scene of the crime. I'm sure the Fallen will be happy to see us. The new and improved Sepix is so, the devil's lair. Sepix Prime sounds like fun to me, but maybe another time. Alright, so next up, let's take a look at the weekly Heroic Strike playlist. And first up, we have Heroic enemies appear in greater numbers and are more aggressive. Following that, Void Burn, Void Damage from any source, greatly increased. Then we have Berserk, Minions of Darkness won't flinch even after massive damage. And then finally, Brawler here at the end, Guardian Melee Damage is greatly increased. Alright, so next up, we're checking out the Story playlist, which last time was all about the Iron Lords. This week, we have Earth and Moon, which brings us back to the start of the rotation. I think Earth and Moon was the very first, um, the mission playlist. Then after that, it was Mars and Venus, I think. So this is the very first one. So we're starting back again from the beginning. And, of course, we have Heroic at the start. Then we have Match Game. Enemy shields are resistant to all unmatched elemental damage. And at the end, Catapult Grenade Recharge Rate is greatly increased. All right, guys, well, that's it for this one. Next, let's take a look at their weekly raid, and it's going to be a good one because it is King's Fall, and I cannot wait to get back in there and figure out how to get the rest of this damn armor. Now, one thing they did for sure is they they lowered the armor drops like crazy. I mean, I got weapons out the ass for everything. I mean, I'm not missing any weapon at all on any of the raids, but armor, I am missing tons of them, so... That's one thing they definitely skimped out on this time. So as you can see, we have the War Priest Challenge, Golgoroth, and of course, Oryx. So if you need some more ornaments, well, this is your time to get them, because three challenges in a row means a lot of ornaments. All right, guys, well, that wraps us up here in orbit. 
let's, uh, what do you think? Let's go to the reef. We'll start off with the reef. We'll check out what's going on there and, uh, take it from there. So, let's dive on in. Alright, my friends, welcome to the reef. Let's go check out, uh, Petra. And then after that, we'll take a look at Varix and all of his goodness. As always, we'll start off with the bounties and, uh, do the same over at Varix. So, first up, take the wanted kill Baroness Grayris on Venus. Fire team, eh, that's up to you. Following that, take them out Mars, kill taking lieutenants on Mars. You need to kill 12 of those bad boys. And then we have take them all, which is kill 100 taken. After that, Queen's Harvest, gather 15 dark nuclei from majors or ultras in any strike playlist. Then we have Queen's Treasure, open the Queen's Treasure Chest in the level 41 PoE. And finally at the end, Queen's Curse, get 30 void kills on the Dreadnought. Alright, thank you Petra. Next, let's take a look at Varix, and of course, I will grab his bag of oh goodies. Hopefully, I'll get something sweet from it. Let's see. Wow, that is terrible. That's like the worst thing I've ever had ever. Anyway, all right. So, bounties. First up, we have Riot Guard. Kill champions in level 41 PoE or the challenge. Following that, close still counts. Use your nades to kill enemies in 41 PoE or the challenge. And finally, shadow boxers. Use void abilities to kill enemies in level 41 Prison of Elders or the challenge of Elders. And this week's super secret modifier we have is super kill bonus. Super kills are worth more points. And that wraps us up at the reef. So, next up, let's go take out the Iron Temple and uh, see what's good over there. Alright guys, well, welcome to Felwinter Peak. Of course, we'll start off with Shiro. And then we'll head up the hill over here to see the old lady at the top. So, let's go check them out. We're taking a look at class items and then we'll go bounties after that. So, for the Iron Lord bounties, first up, Crushing Blows. Use the Iron Battle Axe or powerful enemy weapons to decimate hostile threats. After that, ugh, we're already starting with the Forge bounties. First one is Archon's Forge Captains. Of course, you need four Archon's Forge victories with a Captain Kind. Then we have Shanks, and after that, Servitors. So, a lot of Archon's Forge bounties, which are the they're not the hardest to do, but they definitely take the most time. Alright, so four class items. First up, Mantle of Perun for the Hunter, coming in at 34-34 Intellect Discipline, which is not a 100% like Max roll, but it is a Tier 12 roll, which is not that bad, especially the Mantle of Perun is the best one, I think, out of, out of all the Hunter Cloaks, for the Iron Banner at least, so definitely a good one there. Following that, Yolder's Iron Sash, 32-33 Discipline Strength, which is meh, and then Felwinter's Iron Bond, 34-33 Intellect Discipline, which is not too bad. But definitely not max roll. So, all right. Well, that's it for them. Next, let's go on top of the hill. See what Granny G has to say for us this week. Hopefully something good. Man, I, every time I put on the Dune Marchers, I forget how just how fast you can turn with these things, man. All right. Come on, Granny. Give me something good. All right, for the artifacts, first up, Memory of Felwinter, 192, 129, Discipline Strength. This is the one where you lose a super, but you gain an extra melee, grenade, and a small boost to all your stats. This is, this one isn't that bad. I've seen a, some of the 200s and some with even all three of the stats. So, I don't think this is actually one of the better ones. I would definitely skip it. Following that, Memory of Scory, 113, Discipline. And here we have Memory of Perun coming in at 78-73. Intellect Strength, which isn't all that bad, but not that great. All right, Miss Tara, thank you very much. All right, that wraps us up here at the, the temple. So, next, that leaves the tower and a bunch of things to do over there. So let's hop up to orbit and head that way. All right, guys, so welcome to the tower. First up, we're going to take a look at all of the vendors and, of course, see what kind of... Uh... Hey, there's my ship. Hey, buddy, what's up? All right, anyways, sorry about that. We're going to take a look at all the vendors and see what kind of um, reputation we can swap out for. And on top of that, look at all of the vendor roles for any of the good weapons. So, first, let's start with New Monarchy. All right, and for reputation, New Monarchy is accepting spin metal. So, if you have any left over, here's a way to get rid of it. And in terms of weapon roles, Reflex, Quick Draw is, OEG, coming in with an extended mag, Quick Draw. Hammer Forged, Crowd Control, and then Persistence. Not too bad. Alright, next up is the Free Will 3. We have True Sight, Fast Draw is, Quick Draw is, coming in with High Caliber Rounds, Hip Fire, Hammer Forged, Triple Tap, and Reactive Reload. Not bad, but the rate, this Impact Rate of Fire archetype isn't the best for Crucible play, 
so it would be put more of a PvE weapon. Next, the Impeacher 5. We have True Sight is, Sure Shot is, Quick Draw is, Flared Magwell, Hip Fire, Fitted Stock, Cascade, and Hot Swap. Bad Council 4 is next. For Barrels, we have Smooth Ballistics, Field Choke, Soft Ballistics. Then we have Hand Loaded, Hip Fire, Small Bore, Knee Pads, and a Final Round. This one actually isn't too bad, guys, especially with the Hand Loaded. But the problem is, is that it's one of those faster rate of fires, smaller impact, which since shotguns have been, you know, taken nerf so hard, it's not really the best one to use. All right, next to Deposition 7. For sights, we have Sight Sis, Short Gaze, which is very good, and Eagle Eye. For perks, Armor Piercing Rounds, Snapshot, which is great, Perfect Balance, some Mulligan, and then Firefly. All in all, not too bad. We have CQB Ballistics, Smart Drift Control and Field Choke, Armor Piercing Rounds, Quick Draw, Perfect Balance, Life Leech. Three rapid kills this weapon heals a small amount and starts health regen. I haven't seen that in a while, and Ire of the Storm. All in all, it's not too bad, but once again, it's a faster rate of fire, lesser impact, so I prefer the ones that, uh, you know, shoot a little slower but have more impact. It's just, you know, my preference. But all right, that's it for New Monarchy, guys. Let's head over to the aircraft hangar next and see what all the guys over there have. That's Dead Orbit, the Vanguard, and, of course, Future Warcult. All right, so starting with Dead Orbit, let's take a look at Mr. Jalal and see what he's got for us. And, of course, we'll start off with Reputation. And this is Helium Filaments. So, if you have any extra Helium Filaments, you know where to uh, dump them off at. Alright, so, in terms of weapons, we're going to start with the Extrema File 011. For sights, we have MD Reflex, Quick Draw Is, OEG Rifle Scope with High Caliber Rounds, Snapshot, Hammer Forge, which is great, Hot Swap, and then Persistence. Not too bad. Next up, the Keystone 1 for sights, Red Dot ORA. Range Lens, and then Reflex, Armor Piercing Rounds, Quick Draw, Small Bore, Third Eye, and then Firefly. Alright, the third weapon for Dead Orbit is Worlds to Come. We have Reflexed, Red Dot ORA 2, and OEG, coming in with Enhanced Battery, Quick Draw, Hammer Forge, which is great, Performance Bonus, and then Hidden Hand. That's not too bad. Enhanced Battery, Hammer Forge, and Hidden Hand. Pretty good Worlds to Come, guys. Alright, so moving along here, let's check out the shotgun, the Last Ditch 001. Starting off with the barrels, we have Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, and then Soft Ballistics. We have Flared Magwell, Quick Draw, Hammer Forged, great. Close and or Personal, and then Full Auto. So guys, this is a pretty awesome shotgun here, man. Not only does it get a range boost... Where is it? There's a range boost here somewhere. Hammer Forge. On top of that, it's a full auto. Now, it does not have range finder, unfortunately. But still, this is a pretty good weapon. All right, Bitter Edge 010 is next. For sights, we have the Wild Hawk, Ambush, which is great, and Taxis. We have Explosive Rounds, Snapshot, which is always good. Hammer Forge, Sweet, Mulligan, and then Hidden Hand. Also, not a bad sniper rifle. And finally, Unto Dust Double Zero. Warhead Veneers, Linear Compensator, Hard Launch. Then we have Field Scout, Snapshot, Oops, Perfect Balance, Spray and Play, which is amazing, and then Cluster Bombs. So, pretty good uh, rocket launcher as well. Alright guys, well that wraps us up for Dead Orbit. Next, let's go check out the Vanguard and see what goodness they got for us. And hopefully it's not all terrible crap. What's up, Roni? All right, so let's start off with the Continental. For sights, we have Reflex, Quick Draw Is, and then OEG. Following that, Focused Fire, Eye of the Storm, Braced Frame, or Rifled Barrel, and then Hidden Hand. I'm not sure how Focused Fire would do with such a fast rate of fire. No, this isn't the fastest rate of fire archetype, but it's definitely the second fastest. And with this rate of fire to, to impact ratio, I don't know really how Focused Fire would do with this because it's not going to do the same amount of damage as something say like uh you know one of the Suros weapons with a you know the higher impact slower rate of fire would do so not quite sure how this would handle it but this with where is it rifled barrel that will 
boost the range of this thing significantly, man. This might be a pretty good weapon. It's something to take a look at. I'm actually kind of uh, intrigued to see how it would handle. I can't say it'll be great, but I'm definitely intrigued by it. All right, well, moving on. Let's check out the uh, Parthian shot. For sights, reflex, sure shot is, and then OBG rifle scope. Outlaw, partial refund, brace frame, or rifle barrel again, and then head seeker. Watch out for head seeker because if you're trying to use it, it might actually mess you up instead of help you. That's just my opinion. Yours may vary. All right, so next up we have Angel's Advocate, which is the first weapon I had in Rise of Iron, and it took me a pretty long way. So first up for sights, Red Dot ORA 2, Range Lands RLS 3, Reflex, coming in with Zen Moment, which is good, Last Resort, whatever, Brace Frame, Explosive Rounds, and then Reactive Reload. Mm, not too bad. All right, moving along. What's next, guys? We have How Dare You. For sights, we have Steady Hand Is, Sure Shot Is, and Quick Draw. Following that, Triple Tap, Spray and Play, which is great for a hand cannon, Small Bore, Lightweight, and Third Eye. This isn't too bad, guys. Spray and Play with Small Bore give you extra range and extra stability at the cost of reload. But if you got Spray and Play on there, why they, you don't really need reload. So that's that's awesome. And then Third Eye right here is a pretty good weapon now it's the you know faster rate of fire lower impact uh hand cannon it's not like the crucible uh, hand cannon so it's not the best thing to use in the crucible but it would still definitely do the trick all right so moving along what's next guys the fusion rifle x asterisk which i get it seems like 16 times a day all right for sights reflex red dot ora and oeg we have knee pads last resort Perfect balance, accelerated coils, and then range finder. All in all, not too bad, but it's not a very good crucible weapon just because of that impact. It's going to take, you know, it's going to take more shots than than needed to kill somebody, especially when you use accelerated coils. And but look at that charge rate. That charge rate is nasty. All right, so moving along here, we come up to the teacup tempest. And for sights, true sight is, sure shot is, and quick draw is. Following that, mulligan, cascade. Hand loaded, casket mag, and rangefinder. Pretty good sidearm here, guys. Hand loaded with rangefinder, not too bad, man. That's definitely one to, to take seriously. All right, Occam's Razor is next for barrels, smart drift control, accurized ballistics, aggressive ballistics, coming in with replenish, battle runner, which is fun, hammer forged, perfect balance, and rangefinder. Not, not too bad, guys. I prefer, you know, full auto on something that shoots as fast, but all in all, I'll take range all day. All right, next, the seventh sense, which is a pretty good sniper rifle to begin with. We come in with sight sis, view tack, and then ambush, which is good. Triple tap, perfectionist, armor piercing rounds, small bore, and then firefly. All in all, not too shabby. All right, moving along to the LMG, we have bone crusher. Accurized Ballistics, Linear Compensator with Soft Ballistics, then we have Unflinching, Spray and Play, which is great, what else, Hand Laid Stock, Appended Magazine, and then Counterbalance. So, that's not too bad, man, I would take Appended Magazine to get more bullets, and then with Spray and Play, you're going to shoot fast anyway, so I think that's a perfect trade. Following that with Counterbalance, this is going to be a pretty good roll here, guys. Something to take a look at if you need a decent LMG. But that is totally up to you. All right, last but not least, let's take a look at disassembly required. As for barrels, we have aggressive launch, smart drift control, hard launch, coming in with vacuum, army of one, snapshot, and then field scout. Finally, tripod. This launcher can hold three shells. All right, well, that's it for my buddy Roni. So next up, let's take a look at future war cult, see what kind of goodness they got going on up there. And then we will check... <laughs> take a look at uh, the vanguards down in the middle and go over their bounties and of course then we'll take a look at the crucible weapons all right so for reputation let's see what uh, Lakshmi's taking this week and she is accepting relic iron so if you need to get rid of some you know where to go and for the first weapon we have the whale for sights steady hand is fast draw is quick draw is then for perks armor piercing rounds lightweight hammer forge which is great Relentless Tracker, and then Hidden Hand. Pretty decent, guys. All right, up next, the Waltz. Let's take a look at the sights. 
Reflex, Sure Shot is, OEG, followed by Armor Piercing Rounds, Lightweight, Small Bore, Outlaw, and then Rodeo. Once again, pretty good, guys. I I like Small Bore, not a fan of the magazine going away, but with Outlaw and then Rodeo, you can get some pretty decent shots in. All in all, guys, not too shabby at all. Okay, the waiting is up next. For sights, we have Reflex, Red Dot ORA2, and then OEG. For perks, we have Accelerator Coils, Quick Draw, Hammer Forge, which is good, Knee Pads, and then Eye of the Storm. Not too bad, but mm, I've seen better. All right, Wounded is up next. We have Red Dot ORA, Range Lens, and then OEG. High Caliber Rounds, Quick Draw, Small Bore, Outlaw, and then Firefly. A pretty good PvE weapon. We don't know if it's pretty, you know, PvP worthy, but whatever. Next up, the Wormwood. So take a look at the sights here. We have Steady Hand is, Sure Shot is, and Quick Draw is. High caliber rounds, Quick Draw, Hand Loaded, which is good, Army of One, and Reactive Reload. Pretty good, guys. A lot of good uh, sidearms this week. So high caliber rounds, Hand Loaded, Reactive Reload. Pretty good setup there, man. Pretty good setup indeed. Okay, so what's next? We have the Warpath, which I have an awesome one of these, and I absolutely love it. For launches, Confined Launch, Linear Compensator, Counter Mass, then we have Flared Magwell, Quick Draw, Perfect Balance, Tripod, and Tracking. A pretty good rocket launcher indeed. Now, if this would have horseshoes and hand grenades, it would be the best one ever, but Tracking is still pretty good as well. All right, well, that wraps us up for Lakshmi and the Future War Cult. So, next, let's head over to the uh, the middle of the tower and check out the Vanguard. First, we'll look, take a look at Zavala's bounties, and then the bounties of Shax. And then we'll stop off by the Horny Robot and finish up with some weapons, and we will call it done. All right, welcome to the Hall of the Vanguard, my friend. So, first, let's take a look at Zavala and see what he's got in terms of weekly bounties. Okay, so first up, we have Strike Elite. Earn gold, silver, or bronze tier achieved medals. You need nine of those total. Following that, Sunrise, which is the one that gives you the uh, icebreaker. And then we have Cleanup. Get 150 enemy kills with your fire team during the Siva Crisis Strike to earn brutal efficiency medals. You need to get three of those total. And in case any of you out there really care, the Vitruvius mark for the Titan is a 100% max roll with Discipline Strength. So if you need a Discipline Strength roll, this right here will suit you pretty well, even though, you know, it looks kind of terrible. All right, well, that, that's it for him. Next, go take a look at Shax, and then we'll take a look at some weapons. So, for the Crucible Weekly Bounties, I'm guessing Control and then Clash. First up, a Hunt for Glory. Exercise your skill in the Supremacy Match type. Seven matches complete, 50 primary kills, 30 kill credits, 20 crests denied, and then taking control. Of course, we need seven matches complete, 30 advantage kills, 15 captures, and one beeline. All right, guys, last stop, our site 9940 and his weapons. And by the way, in case you guys didn't know, the number at the end of any kind of robot name, that's the number of times the robot has been reset or had its personality reset, memory wiped, you know, whatever. So for our site's case, he's been reset 99 times. Cade, the reason he's called Cade 6 because he's been reset six times so that's just a quick little uh little lore info for you all right so weapons crucible here we go first up is the zero day dilemma for sights red dot ora quick draw is oeg rifle scope coming in with spray and play danger close small bore or appended magazine and then counterbalance all in all not too bad guys all right, so moving this beast along here, what do we got next? We have the B29 Party Favor for sights, MD Reflexed, Sure Shot Is, and OBG. Perks, Eye of the Storm, Life Support, Small Bore, Feather Mag, and then Third Eye. Next up, the Scout Rifle, the Hero Formula. For its sights, we have Red Dot ORA2, Range Lens, RLS3, and then OBG Rifle Scope. For perks, Life Support, Who's Next? A kill with a final round in the magazine increases reload speed. Then we have braced frame, explosive rounds, and hidden hand. All right, so what's next? The palindrome. Now, last week was a pretty boss roll. Let's hope this one will match up. All right, so true side is, sure shot is, quick draw is, followed by outlaw. That's good. Icarus, 
Reinforced Barrel, look at that range. Then we have Casket Mag, and finally, raw Reactive Reload. I thought it was Spray and Play. So, all in all, it's still not that bad, especially with that range. But with Reactive Reload and Outlaw, you might be able to get a pretty good synergy going. So, uh, I, I don't know. It's not as good as last week, I'll give you that. But if the circumstances are right, this will be pretty boss. So, uh, interesting. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, let's keep this train moving. Each new day is up next. And for its sites, we have MD Reflex, Red Dot ORA, and then OEG. For perks, Spray and Play. As you guys know, I love Spray and Play. Icarus, Perfect Balance, Snapshot, Hot Swap. Snapshot is awesome. Of course, you know, on most weapons like a sniper rifle, but it's really, really good on a, uh, a fusion rifle because they, they take a, quite a while to aim. But anyways, let's move this beast along here. Next up, the shoddy, the 44 curtain call. For barrels, we have smart drift control, CQB ballistics, and then aggressive ballistics. Following that, close and or personal, knee pads, reinforced barrel with some pretty good range on that bad boy, perfect balance, and once again, full auto. That's I think that's a second shotgun with full auto, right? Yeah, the last dish was full auto also. Well, looks like the battle of uh, full auto shotguns this week. All right, moving along. Anton's rule. Let's see if we can get three good sidearms in a row. So for sight, steady hand is, sure shot is, and quick draw is. Following that, relentless tracker, cascade, hand loaded, not too bad, high caliber rounds, and hidden hand. Not as quite as good as the others, but still not too bad. And moving along, the Sniper Rifle, Event Horizon. For sights, we have Hawkeye, Short Gaze, which is great, and then Taxis. Underdog, Perfectionist, Armor Piercing Rounds, Perfect Balance, and then Take a Knee, not really all that good. And what's up next? Something Wicked. Warhead Veneers, Soft Launch, Counter Mass, followed by Battle Runner, Army of One, Snapshot, Heavy payload and then tracking. Not too bad, but no grenades and horseshoes for some reason. So that's pretty crappy. All right, guys. Well, that does it for this week's weekly reset guide. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, check me out on Twitter or even Facebook, Sly Nation or Sly Nation Gaming. It's the best place to stay up to date on everything Destiny, Destiny 2, Mass Effect, and of course, new uploads coming out of my channel. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I have a top six Destiny video that is pretty good about all the big changes coming to Destiny 2. So definitely check that out if you haven't seen it yet. And I cannot wait to go over all of the juicy goodness coming out of E3 here in a week. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, this is your boy Sly. Later, guys.